Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I've been using the wrong microphone, so my other videos probably sound a bit fuzzy, and I do apologize. I just realized it, and it's been so long since I've done a video, I forgot I had to change all my things back. So, I apologize. I'm sorry. I hope this one sounds better. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start doing some mixed media here, just with some marks. And this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. I have so many scrapbook tablets. Um, and, you know, I, I'm going to make, this doesn't do it for me. So I'm just going to add some extra color on it and stuff. Let it dry and then use it in a mixed media painting I'm going to do. So, you know, I just thought I'd sit here and talk while I did it. Uh, have you guys, do, do any of you guys have like paper sitting around that you don't use? Um, I'm going to be making my own paper. I love making paper. Uh, but I was sitting here and I was like, you know what? I just feel like throwing paint down and um, I like this color, but I just want to add some other little like just dots and, you know, just kind of play and then leave it dry and then, you know, do that. I also found my Distress Crayons, which I've not used in forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. And um, so we're going to start with them because that's just what I want to do. And of course, I got stencils sitting here coming out my yin yang and we're going to use those. These were sent to me from Trucker Janie. Thank you very much. So that is what I'm going to go with today. I got a big pile of them she sent me. And I'm thinking with this color. Maybe we'll go. Uh, let's see what this does. I want to kind of keep it like naturey, but then I don't. So who knows what I'm going to do. These are so freaking old. <laughs> I got a little, I don't know what's going on. It, the weather here is insane. Um, I'm in Jersey and we've not had a winter. It, I don't know, even know if it's went below 50 degrees, 60 degrees during the day. At night it goes down to like, you know, 38, but we have not had any snow. I think it snowed once for five minutes and I think today it's been raining all day and it's like 70 freaking degrees. I don't know. I'm over it. Anyway, so I just thought we would play a little bit and I'm not going in with um, me doing the whole stencil. I just want to add some marks. You hear my puppies. I'm fostering so I have two or th I have three puppies left in the mother so they're in there I'm trying to get them and then uh, that's paint and stuff I was playing with I've been crocheting like insane so I'm making um a lot of you probably know uh Sigurd Sodo I'm making her a sweater like a um, cardigan kind of thing and it's the if you're familiar the hexagon cardigan so I've been doing that and just uh, it's meditation I've said it a million times knitting and crocheting are meditation to me and um, you know that's what I like to do it just helps me not kill people it is a true thing there is a thing that goes around saying that like some sort of meme, but it's, it's not lying. It's the, it's true. Let's see if I have bigger, bigger holes. Uh, that might be a little better, which I'm not mad. I just wanted some pieces. I just want some pieces. This is blue. I have no idea. Mermaid Lagoon means nothing. And you know what it would help is if I took it out of the plastic. I'm also obsessed with sourdough bread, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, um, yeah, it's a little bit better, I'm just gonna kind of scribble it all over, this way, and so, you know, doing the starter, doing all that, I'm sure, you know, I've posted it on here, um, so I love doing that, I've been very busy, Dave's still not doing good, so, that doesn't make it easier. My daughter's not doing very well. That doesn't make shit easy. And I can't even think about myself because I just 
I'm so wrapped up in them, so. You know. You know. We'll just kind of give this a little vibe right there. Okay. You see how it's just doing marks? That's all I really want to do. Now I wonder. Oh my god, my thing's choking me. Let's get a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And maybe I'll wet right here. Let's do it this way. And lay it down right there. And then lay this over to kind of push it. Push it real. Um, see, I don't even know. Okay. Let's see. But yeah, we've been we've been fostering the puppies for I think since May or something like that of last year. Well, we haven't even gotten to May. Oh, look how pretty that looks. So that's a thing you can do too. And then I can just keep, I can just, what the heck, I'm full of paint anyway. Or dye. Okay. I just kind of get, you know, some of that color. All right, let's do another color. Let's do some purple. And this is Seedless Preserves. Like I said, just doing, I just want to add some colors, you know? I always try to do it like in an odd, odd sequence. I'm going to go back in with my brush. My dogs, the puppies are really loud. So excuse them. Okay. Gives you a nice, which is perfect for this. Just a nice little light touch. All right, you can move on. We're good. Something else that I've been doing, and do I have it sitting here? I just take a squirt bottle. And just like leave it sit there for a few minutes and then you can see it kind of like these dissipate a little bit especially if you have a lot you know what? I'll do it next time but this way I can leave this a little bit darker if I want you know and then the next the next color I put down I will like I, I don't want to smudge all the lines out though if that makes sense Now remember, this is going to be a little damp, a little whatever. Turn it. Turn it to another side. Let's go with, let's go with this color, which is candied apple. Oh, I could have one of them now. Not candied or caramel, but, you know. Okay. So let's say, let's say. Oh, they're in there wrestling the puppies. <laughs> so cute. You know, Well, I like the way that looks underneath, though. It's almost like, let me hold it up for you. It's almost like glowing. Can you see? Oh, it's so cool looking. All right. All right. Go and play. Go and play. So I'm going to give that some loving for a second. And then I'm going to let it run. Run, baby, run. Come on, Red, do your thing. I don't even know what I'm allowed to say on here anymore, so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if blood's a problem. It's just because it looks like it. It just resembles it. Okay. And you see, I love doing these. And, what, like, my nephew, to give him a couple pieces of these paper and let him go to town on them, I love them because then you can use them in your art. You know, and that's the fun thing. Let's do again. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to, let's just wipe this off here. I never waste. I hate wasting. I'm going to dry you off. I'm going to set you here. What kind of brush is this? A mop brush. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what color haven't we done? And I love the squinch. Let's do this green 
Twisted Citron, which, you know, I'm obsessed with this color, but all right, let's do some here. Let's do some over. Just kind of, let's give it all some love. Then I'm going to take some white paint. This is just wicker white multi-surface from Folk Art. Use whatever you got. You go to the dollar store, get their paints. Use it. I know, I look, I'm not popular for saying these things, but I'm going to say it. I don't care if you get your paint from the dollar store or you get your paint from Jerry's Artorama, Golden. I don't care. Target, just get the paint. You see what I'm saying? Just paint. I am a 53-year-old woman with <laughs> diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. I have uh, fibro. I'm in stage 4 kidney, chronic kidney disease. I'm a mess. And I know I gotta get my life together. I lost my son to suicide or unaliving himself. I don't know if I can say that here. Um, you know, year, a few years back and it, it's just, I'm a, I've been a mess. I know it. I've given up my art. I've given up everything. Don't give it up. If you want to do this, whether it's this, whether it's a painting somebody else did, I know everybody is like, oh, if you get better paint, you'll, it'll look better. This and that. Yeah. You know what? Maybe, maybe the paint won't be so chalky. Maybe this, that, the other, but you know what? If you wait until you can afford it. You'll just keep sitting there wishing that you were painting. Go buy the cheap stuff. Start practicing. And then, you know, they don't give the, the, the coupons anymore. Uh, like Michael's and Joann's used to for the 50% off. Once in a while, Joann's will do it. Go buy an expensive paint. Use that coupon. Start with your white. You do red, orange, green, blue, purple. Do you see what I'm saying? And you get all the colors. Roji Biv. Start there. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. All right, we're, well, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, let's do a little bit white here. I get so frustrated because, you know, it's just, I know people mean well, and I know, you know, like, if you can afford it, then, of course, get the more expensive. If you can't, use what you got. Use what you can afford. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm not dogging anybody. I think, you know, everybody has their opinion, and reasons and all the things but um like i said if you wait you ain't gonna do it you'll never have the money because you'll always find something to spend it on go to the damn dollar store and get you know get your uh paints and just start then you can build up your good stuff can't even tell you what i did i i had good stuff after my son died my husband went and he bought me all golden stuff and Liquitex and, um, you know, to try to keep me doing what I was doing. And um, I was so, I was so thrilled by having them. I never used them because I didn't want to use them up. And then you know what happened? They went bad. They got hard. They did all the things. Who uses them? I can't use them now. He have a mind to throw away. Because I was saving them. For what? Your perfume. It'll go skunky. Don't save it. Wear it every day so you wake up and you feel happy and refreshed. And you're like, yep, that's me. Wearing it today. All right. Let's go in with that green again. This is why all my stuff is bad. I ruin everything because I'm always doing this. And that. And you see, we're just kind of going over. I only have that out so much. So think of it like when we were little, you used to get them Avon lipsticks and stuff. But I'm only putting the tip out, just the tip. So I have a lot left. So I just do enough that it'll lay on there. And I'm going to go in. I'm just grabbing it all. Because now I'm like all fired up. Mm, what can I do? Let's do some orange. But yeah, like I said, I, you know, I'm not being disrespectful. It's just that sometimes you just don't have all the time in the world. Sometimes life, you know, kicks you. 
And then you're like, what? I shoulda, woulda, coulda. But that doesn't matter. I'm hungry for stuffed shells today. I'm all over the place. Okay. I know it looks ridiculous. No, no. It's all right. And then some bright yellow. Some blue. Cause I'm changing my whole direction now. I'm gonna go more red. Ooh, she bright. Okay, now I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna give everything just a quickie. Sometimes a quickie is not a bad thing. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna just a little bit in there. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I don't wanna scrub. Let's scrub with this. Gonna keep it dry. And just kind of go the areas. Also, I'm obsessed with jumping spiders right now. I love them, I love them, I love them. I have some babies. I have my regular, you know, my spiders. So excited. I love them. So I'm just going to go dabble, do you, into that white. But you know, nothing's as it seems. So I want that color underneath. I want to look, I want it to look like uh, just some drawings. You know what else is fun is if you have a, a cutting machine or Sizzix Big Cut or Cricut or whatever, Scan and Cut. Um, these are nice to have as well because now I can do something like this and I can um, put that in there. I can cut things out, shapes and you know things. Okay, so now I'm going to take my water again. I'm going to squirt it. Like, look at this. Look right there. Can you see that coming up? Yep. All right. I'm going to go in and block. And I see that I have like whiter spots. I'm going to leave them. But now I'm going to bring some of the color back because that's just like how I like doing it. I know, it's senseless, right? Nah. You get different, like, you know, different nuances and different pieces and different things. And then what I'll end up doing is letting this dry. And use your paper towel. I love doing this. This doesn't have too much texture on it. But I love just adding a little bit of texture with it when everything's wet. So it's not so mush. Now I look here and I think, oh, I need, I want a little bit more color there. But I'm going to go in with some paint. This is lime green. And draw with it. Or put it in something that has a point to it. Just draw with it. Take your paper, I'm not even gonna get a brush. And dab it. Let's get some other texture in there. And you don't have to do, you don't have to like my color scheme or how I do it or what I do. Do your own. It's about having fun and just doing it. And that's what I'm saying, can you see now why like whatever kind of paint you have or you can get, it's okay. This is, I'm a, I'm a, I love doing backgrounds. I love doing these things because I can do whatever I want. I don't have to, you know, 
I don't want to mess up white up. But some good on my rag, so I'm going to do that. And let's see. What about some fluorescent orange? What do we think about that? Neon orange. Come on, baby. I just used you the other day. <laughs> just used you the other day. Oh, she doesn't want to come out. I just used you. See if she'll come out this way. I'm gonna do this one in threes, just like that. Okay. Okay. Go back in with some paper. Ooh, I put a lot down, but that's all right. That's when I should have another set next to me, another paper. So I can be like doing more than one, but honestly, I haven't been in here in a while. I sit on the couch up there and do it, and I really need to clean in here so I have more space. And I am begging for more of this blue. That's hard for you to see because it's kind of... Let me see here. One second. Well, let me think. Get under there. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I don't know, because the other way it gets a little bit of a thing. No, I don't know if I can, if my heat gun's plugged in or not. <sighs> to praise the gods. Yes, it is. Thank you. I'm going to get a little bit of the water out. It's almost like I'm starting over again, you know what I mean? With everything. I gotta get my viewership back up, I gotta subscribers and talent and back to knowing what I was doing before, you know. And this is something that I just love. I don't think I use this. Now give that a second to like just cool off for a second. And then I'll go in with Mermaid Lagoon, Broken China. Which one did I use last time? I can't remember. I think I used Mermaid last time. I think this is darker. We're the same. All right. I'm going to do something. All right, I'm going to do something with that. I need something here. On that orange. Did I use all the colors other than the dark colors? This is like a leaf color. Not exactly what I want. What about this pink? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Now, let me tell you, something that you can do if you're new and you're not, if you've been with me for a while, you're probably like, I don't want to see this. But uh, if you're new, oh, what's this paper? You can um, cut these and use them as backgrounds for ATCs or uh, art journal pages or whatever. I'm going to use it for um, mixed media background, but... You use it for, I don't know what the heck that is, and I don't want to know. Um, but that's what I'm going to use it for. I don't want to get that gummy. What did I do with my paintbrush I was using? Oh, God, Kelly, why? Oi. All right, I'm just going with this. Dry, no water. 
and this is paper Mod Podge. Mod Podge paper. Okay. And I'm going to use it like water just to kind of smudge everything a bit. I don't have to smudge everything, but, and I don't care. Uh, I don't want to wash my brush off. Like, I don't care about that. But you see why I wanted the paint to dry, because I really didn't want to smudge that paint. But I just want... that. That's white paint there. I just want to drag it through. All right. Okay. Very simple. Very stupid, right? Like, oh my gosh, the, what, what even did I watch? That's right. That's what I want you to say is, what even did you watch? And I don't even know what the heck that is. It must be dry glue. Because it's been a minute since I've used it. It's all right. You just pull it out and keep it rocking. Mm. Now, here's the question pretty gross. The question is, do I do my black trick or do I leave it like this? And I want to do black, but I'm not going to do it everywhere probably. Let's see. Let's turn her this way. And let's do just a little bit there. Let's see how this works. Oh, don't fall. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my water. And then I'm going to go in with my brush. And then I might do, oh, I love that, a little bit here. And then one more little boop. Like kind of off kilter a little bit. Clean off my brush, more water. More water, more water. Let's see what we can do. Leave it run. This one is not running, so I'm gonna make it run. Where are they at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it down, baby. Bring it down. And then what I'm gonna do, all right, bring it all around. way and then let's go this way okay. okay I love it it's like ink spots it's like animals Because I watered it down, I'm hoping. All right, you gotta get out of my way. Okay, come on. And I'm not gonna fully dry it. Just the big puddles of water. Now, this may be a little too black for me over here. Okay. And then, so 
but I can still see some of the green through there. Through here, not so much. That's all right. They're like little animals. I'll show you in a second. Really, it's just about having fun. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, I'm going to open this up and do the deed. That's to get, it helps it dry faster and it gets a lot of that up. Because, you know, I don't want it sitting on there. And when I wipe it, you can see, you know, you can kind of see underneath. And that's kind of what I want. And if I want to go back in, you can use alcohol too, but if I want to go in and squirt it like this, see if it would wipe any of this off. No, but it'll help that a little bit. And then I can go and pat some of that black, but I, I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm going to take this and stamp it up here. All right, I'm I'm happy with it so far. I'm happy. This is going to be a great background. Uh, if you want more, if you're like, oh, oh I got this is what I do. I open this up and then I leave it dry. <laughs> I'll use it next time. If you want to, um, like this here, which is not bothering me here or whatever, you can go in. And you can do like, you know, little whatever for color. It's not going to bother me, so I'm going to leave it be. But do you see what I'm saying? But I like, I, I, I like it. I like it. I'm really happy with it. So that's it. This is a piece of paper I would have never used otherwise. And now I made it so I can use it. I can rip it into pieces and do it onto my uh, canvas. And I'll be doing a bunch of these. So, um... You know, if you want me to do them on camera, I will. If not, and you're not interested, that's fine too. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.